Hey guys, it's Robin, R. Silent Crafts, and welcome to my studio. I wanted to put out this little bonus type video for y'all. When I did the mug rugs on Friday, I did not show you how to stitch the little veins because the video was already getting a little bit long and I didn't want it to be super long because it's supposed to be shorter than a live stream, which it is because the live stream was really long and we had a great time. But for those of you that either don't want to watch the live stream or want to refer back to this later, I thought I'd put up this video. There's not going to be any talking. There's not going to be any explanation. I'll give you a quick rundown now, and then you can just watch that video. The majority of my subscribers has requested no music on this channel, so I will just make sure the volume on the sewing machine isn't too loud. So just to warn you ahead of time, it's just going to be the sound of the sewing machine. So if you want to mute your device and not listen to it or turn it down low, I do not talk during it whatsoever, so you won't be missing anything if you mute it. And at the end, it's just going to taper off, and then there will be the end of the video. So just as I said, just a quick little something just to give you that bonus thing that in case you want to see this. I made this one already. We made this one during the live. I struggled a bit on the live, if you were with me, on getting the vein on this one, on the maple leaf, but I got it under control a little bit, and I have two versions here. I tried to change a little bit as I was stitching it at the machine, so maybe one time I would constantly spin it, and the next time I would do back stitching. There's no free motion stitching or anything like that. Some of these have quilting already on it. Others do not have any quilting. I use the actual stitching here to hold it down. Quilt as you go, extra quilt as you go, and then just top quilting. The mug rugs are small, you can do it any way you want. As you can see, I have not put the binding on all of them yet. So but what I did with the leaf here, you'll see it in the video, is for the simplest version, I went ahead and I did about an eighth of an inch just to stitch it all the way down because I have my heat and bond underneath it and I followed it around. Now, if you go off of it or if you go in a little too far, what you can do is just come back around a second or third time. If you want this line to be heavier and you want it to be more visible, say you're using a contrast, maybe you're using, as you can see it on here, or maybe you're going to use a black or a white or something, you can go around this more than once. And if you go off a little bit, it's not going to be that big of a deal, especially if you have a second round going, it's going to hide that mistake. It's going to make it look like it's supposed to be there. Nobody's really going to notice it unless you come way down here. Then I suggest unpicking it and then picking back up. But if you just veer off, a lot of times it's hard at the tips and around the corners not to veer off. I almost veered off there and it's perfectly fine. So I put my stem in. And then I went up this way and came back. I went up this way and came back. Then I went this way. Went up, back, up, back, and then I think I just went back and forth because I like that center vein to be a little bit more predominant. On this one, I did go over to this side and catch these little ones here, and on that one there, I didn't put any stitching on those at all. And the same thing, I just come up, curve it a little bit if I wanted to, because you can come up higher and just make short ones or you can make long ones. But on this one, I didn't get my center vein quite centered, so I do have this weird trails, and I missed a couple times and went off, and it's still, it's fine. It's just a little bit of a hodgepodge. You can see it on the back, of course. If you don't want to see any of these stitching on the back, just do this with the front and your batting, and then you can stitch everything down and then add the backing so you won't see any of the stitches. I think the stitching on the back is kind of fun. I got myself a little upside down and confused. Now these are falling leaves, so it doesn't really matter. But on all of these, all the stems are at the bottom. This guy, he's got a stem up at the top. This oak leaf, he just confuses me on which way is which. Is I decided to flip it and put this at the top and then this at the bottom. But then my brain and my eye must have went in and said, no, this is the top. So I put the stem up there. Again, it's falling down and these guys are just coming this way. And this guy's had a little bit of fun doing some flips and is upside down. No big deal, it's just a leaf. All of them are different in nature, so however you get them stitched down is fine. And if you want, you can skip this. You can take a fabric marker and draw it in. You can do some hand embroidery or just skip it and have the regular applique. Especially if you're using something like a batik, these are really crazy bits of color all over the place. So if your 
fabric is got a lot going on, you don't even have to add that extra. Like this one here, he's got a little bit of craziness going on him. He's not all lined up straight. I could have corrected these little quirks off to the side by doing my stitching up and down a bunch just to cover that up. But it doesn't bother me because again, if you look at a couple of leaves, they're not all the same. Even though a maple leaf looks like this, they still don't all look identical and they're gonna have different things going on. So for those of you that were looking for a little extra and don't want to sit through the live stream, and if you do want to watch the live stream, just fast forward all close to the end. At the end, we did a quick binding, and then prior to that is when we worked on this. So it did take a while. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoy this and that it helps everyone who's been looking for a little something extra. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.